guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Basic Series 55 Charlotte figure. This is Charlotte Flair's very first figure. I think it looks pretty good. Not too sold on her head scan to be honest. Um, but it is her very first time in the line figure. And this set is not at retail yet. By the time you see this review though, I'm sure it will be at the store considering how fast all these figures have been flying out towards the end of the year. Um, but you can get it currently on ringsidecollectibles.com. I know they've appeared in Canada at Walmart as well. And uh, that being said, let's take a look at her up close in the packaging. As you can see, there's a picture of Charlotte there. It says first time the line. There's the WWE logo. Here's Charlotte in a standard pose with the WWE logo at the bottom of her bubble. She is superstar number 67 out of the basic 2015 line and it says Charlotte on the side. Looking at the back of the box, there's a picture of Charlotte. It says Charlotte in the WWE logo. It says recreate the action of WWE. Also in this set is Sting, John Cena, El Torito, Kane, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, and Undertaker. Now this is another one of those massive sets so I assume everybody will just be one per case at the store. And all of them are new. Kane's a re-release though, but everybody else is new, I believe. Uh, it says, compete in these superstar rings. Pictured as a raw basic ring and SmackDown basic ring. And company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at her fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the basic 55 Charlotte Flair figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good figure. The detail is very nice on it. The head skin's actually not as bad now that I saw it up close. I'm still not so sure what I think of it, but I like it a little bit better now that I have it out of the box. Um, that being said, let's take a look at her up close. As you can see, here's her first head scan. I think it looks alright, I guess. I don't know. Like, in a way I could kind of see it, and in a way I'm not really sure. But you can see the detail in her hair. She's got a smile on her face. It's a ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. You can see her attire, which is actually molded to her. So it feels like she's actually wearing this outfit, which is really cool. You can see all the detail in it as well. The silver lining and everything. There's her logo there on this side, has her one tattoo, it says in all else for it will, determine the, re the course of your life, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry for that awkward silence, it's hard to read as it is very fine print, and then she has her little tattoo there as well, she has a typical diva ab crunch joint. She has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. She has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joint. She has a swivel wrist joint, a closed fist here, an open hand here. You can see her belly button which is a cool detail on the diva figures. She has a swivel waist joint. You can see her belt which is painted on. It's very detailed and the logos on her tights there and there as well silver lining there too. She has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. She has swivel by her thigh joints, excuse me. Typical basic knee joints covered by these thin black rubber knee pads with padding and other wrinkled designs to make them look authentic. It restricts the movement a tiny bit but not too bad. And she has her kick pads, the swivel boot joint there. You can see the padding details make it look like she's actually wearing kick pads and then she has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down as well and that's the Charlotte figure pretty cool figure at least for her first one hopefully they do a better scan uh, later on this one's okay I don't know from a distance it looks pretty good so I don't know I don't know what do you think um anyway Thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.
like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.